What's up? Big Kirk 916. Positivity, motivation. Never settle for average. You know we do it over here. Go to BigKirk916.com, pick you up some merch, grab a bar of soap, wash your ass. July 30th is the next men's panel. It will be at 1 p.m. Pacific time, private Zoom, invite only. Hit me up at info.bigherc916 at gmail.com to participate. Man, this story right here, I thought would really get you guys uh, pumped up. Black Georgia lawmaker hit with racist hate mail after switching to GOP. So, internet trolls are spamming Georgia state lawmaker Misha Maynard's email with racist slurs and other abusive comments over her decision to leave the Democratic Party. Now, I thought the Democratic Party was the tolerant left. Weren't they the ones who flipped? They were the Republicans back in the day that started the um, abolition movement. The, 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 they were against slavery, against racism, but now they're Democrats. So what, wouldn't they be the party who would be non-racist? The Republicans are supposed to be the racist ones, right? Well, quote, the RNC won't pay you in fried chicken, menthols, Rice Krispie treats, watermelon, or weed. One troll wrote, according to a series of screenshots of the emails that Maynard tweeted over the weekend, the Klan should wipe the floor with your ass. That's what they tweeted. These are the tolerant left, the support of the BLM, who are going in on her because she left the Democratic Party. Now, that's doesn't sound like uh, tolerance to me. I mean, you're, you're, you're just trying to get some shit done. So why are you so upset, so emotional? You want to be a party traitor and go under Republican Georgia Governor Brian Kemp's whip? Quote, another wrote, quote, because he offered you more yams and collards. Now, I wonder if that comment came from a black or a white person. What do you think? Is that a black or white Democrat that said that? They know about yams and collards. Oh, collards. Other harassers called Maynard the N-word and Aunt Jemima, mother effing traitor, and an Uncle Tom bitch. Maynard tweeted the messages along with polite responses such as, I'm sorry you feel this way. I pray everyone has a great Sunday. That's another day the Lord has made. Quote, end quote. In response to one email that told her to kill herself, Maynard wrote, quote, Dear Democrat, I'm sorry you feel this way. Support for anyone with thoughts of self-harm can be accessed by calling uh, hashtag 988, end quote. Maynard, who is black, cited the Democratic Party's, uh, quote, left-wing radicalism, end quote, lawlessness, and decision to, quote, put the interests of illegal aliens over the interests of Americans, end quote, as her reason for leaving the party. The Georgia legislator joins a growing group of state-level Democrats who are switching their party affiliation. In nearby Louisiana, for example, two Democratic lawmakers this year join the Republicans. Now, uh, I was able to get some of the other screenshots, and let me let me let me read one of these to you. Uh, this is somebody who sent their email. What concerns you? What are your priorities? You blank bitch. You need to get back on the plantation before Massa Stacy whips your black whips your ass back into shape. You need to stop eating your fried chicken and watermelon with Vernon Jones and get back. Miss Nat Turner. Wow. Wow. That's how they feel, huh? Woo. This is the tolerant left. These are the people who are against racism. They want to help the black folk. What concerns you? What are your priorities? This is from another email. You dumbass Aunt Jemima effing traitor. I will be sure to take my chunk of my retirement savings which is substantial 
and will donate it to whoever it is that will be running against you, you self-hating black blank bitch. How would you like to help? Oh, you'll see come 2024 how I will help make sure you are defeated. Go run in a Republican Confederate district that loves self-hating blank like you. Wow. He's going to use part of his retirement. I wonder who he is. Man, this guy, I wonder if he had black folks to his house for dinner. He's serious. His retirement. Here's another one. How would you like to help? I would like to help you blank black ass by telling you that saying you would support any candidate picked by the GOP during the primary is blank. Not only is it blank, you will live up to the word blank by just following blindly. Remember, you were a Democrat and felt abandoned to become Republican, and now you're going to follow blindly like you did with your party. You're the stain on society that needs to be flushed. I wish you the absolute worst in your political history, you Uncle Tom bitch. <laughs> these people, man, these, if these are the people who are so quote unquote, the Democrats, the left that were praising all this blackness and stuff, and this is how they really feel? God, this is crazy. Here's another one. What concerns you? What are your priorities? This bitch killing herself. How would you like to help? Convincing conservatives and their dipshit children to commit suicide is the greatest service one can offer to humanity. Now, I mean, doesn't everybody want to live in a great America? America that is about its people, prosperity, opportunity. Why would you wish that on somebody? I don't, I mean, I see people that have different opinions politically, but I don't wish death on them. It ain't that serious. Wow. And, and, and this is pretty much what she had to say, uh, Misha. She said, I can do more for blacks as a Republican than I could as a Democrat. Hashtag stop selling dreams. What do Republicans support? Educate the marginalized, workforce training for the marginalized, victim rights over prosecutors, safe communities, Medicaid expansion for the pregnant, support for small businesses, increased teacher salaries. Black people are in trouble as their population dwindles to a perpetual minority status when poor leadership prevails. America is 50% white and each demographic considers their issue more important than their neighbor. Realism puts food on a table while fantasy gets Democrats elected. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Um, how you guys, uh, how you guys feel, how, how you guys feel about that, man? Um, that is, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty interesting, man. Um, to say the least. Some of those comments <laughs> have to make you wonder now, are those black folks, Democrats, emailing her with the hate? Or are those the, the liberals, the ones who say they love black folks, the ones that say they want to help everybody black, but keep giving you a handout so you don't try any harder? These political party things, man, is such bullshit. These people, see, they love to placate to your wants like they give a damn. The only person that's gonna help you is you. If you think these politicians are gonna get it done, I mean, she's a politician, and look how they threw her under the bus. She still, she ain't even, she ain't even committed a crime or anything. She just said she wants to switch parties because she sees the bullshit. Whether she can get something done with the Republicans, we'll see. But to be honest, how they handled everything the last couple years, man, they both playing the same team. Behind closed doors, they all are eating the same cake, drinking the same wine. And uh, I don't see anything really changing to really make a difference 
maybe a little bit to make you think they give a damn. But we'll see what happens in this new election because there's a lot of shit going on. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. And I don't even like to get into anything political, but that comments, excuse me, those comments in regards to her because she changed parties, disgusting. Disgusting. And that's, that's uh, telling you how they really think about a black woman down south in Georgia. Big Herc 916, man. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916, and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee, and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Go to the Herc store at BigHerc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average. Got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.